Hi, I'm Lorianne Mealy Bell, and I'm a watercolor artist here in Prince George. My curiosity in the houses um, probably comes a little bit from my sister. She's an architect, um, and my mother was um, an interior designer. So that's kind of always been in the background. And also it was kind of a way to get to know the city of Prince George. I've been here for seven years now, but because I live on the outskirts of town, I'm not in the city that much. So it's kind of a way of getting to know the city and finding all the cool spots that make this place so interesting. My process really is to get out into the neighborhood, to get to know the different areas. It's not just the one home that I paint. I'm looking around at the whole community and I'm having a little walk about. And what's really exciting too is since I started painting these homes and all the contact that I've had from um, the communities and, and the people in the city is more and more people want to have their homes painted too. They want a recording. They want uh, a capture the memories that they spent in that home. I can understand. I think it's it's really important. It's sometimes we don't even have a um, actual picture or photograph that complements the homes that we live in. And when every time they look at that painting, they'll remember all those memories that they spent in that home. So the future, I'm really excited because I'll be doing more beginner classes and some intermediate classes because I do have quite a few um, return painters that, that I've been teaching and they've really developed in their own style. And that's one of the things I like to concentrate. I really like people to develop their own style. I don't want them to paint like me or like Robert Bateman. I want them to paint like their own style, how they see things, how they feel things. And I really believe that's um, really important not to stifle their style, not to tell them what they're doing wrong wrong. I show them te techniques and if they haven't quite mastered techniques I'll, I'll just do um, different repetitive techniques in that with them until they until they finally hit the goal that they're trying to get to. Things I've recently um, sort of switched to, I still do large landscapes, I mean I love painting a full sheet of arches 30 by 22 inches. I, I just love that. But what I kept hearing over and over again from art shows, and then all of a sudden it clicked with me, was we don't have any wall space. So I realized when people kept telling me that they didn't have any wall space and looked at the newer homes, I realized it was like a light bulb went off. Most homes now are open concept, so there are no walls. So I sort of took that into perspective and I'm making smaller paintings. I've really limited the size so that you can have that landscape on your wall. Coming from an artistic background, my uncle owned a gallery. So it was one of the first jobs I learned was working in his gallery, dealing with artists and framing all the fantastic works that go into the galleries. And back then things were very strict very strict. There was specific um, codes for how big a mat had to be, the width of it and everything. And, and all these things have, have been so relaxed now, which I'm kind of happy about because even the framing should be your own personal choice. So having said that, one of the things that always bothered me about watercolors is always putting them behind glass. And I don't have a problem with that, but sometimes, especially certain artwork, I didn't want that glass there. So I was really excited to find out different ways of matting and protecting your watercolors. And by adhering these to wood panels and protecting them with wax coatings or a coating that is like a varnish based, the paintings can be exposed and you don't, you have the choice of putting them in frame or not or just hanging them on the wall as they are. And it's really cool because you can touch them. There's wax on them. So you're not going to damage the painting anymore. You can actually touch the watercolor now, which I think is pretty amazing.